All right, thanks, Sora. You know, last year was an exceptional year in the school, but there are several changes coming to CCSD this school year as well. And even though we are seeing a lot of changes, we want to stick to what is going to stay the same. So take a look here. This is 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey. We have a photo of him all <laughs> grown up. So as we head back to school, we know that a lot of people are going to be taking their back to school photos. Mm -hmm. So this is him there. It looks like a little adorable cutie. I can't really see the picture, but I think he has a little bowl cut. If I'm not mistaken. That, also, and who are you with? I think he's with his brother in that other okay. one too. He says his brother's name is Ian, but <laughs> I'll let him explain these photos. Sean, you look a little bit different now. I'm sure you're excited that um, we got to show these great photos of you heading back to school, but there, like we mentioned before, there's a lot of changes today. Yeah, David Clean, one of the big changes uh, that has definitely happened over the years is that I have gotten rid of that not just bowl cut, but bowl cut mullet combo that my mom gave me, and I will never forgive her for doing that. I think we called it a bullet back in the day, but another big change is this brand new school right here in Henderson. Superintendent Jesus Jara and school officials will be cutting the ribbon here at Hannah Marie Brown Elementary just before 7 o'clock this morning. For those not willing to risk the spread of the highly contagious Delta variant of the coronavirus by coming to school in person, the Nevada Learning Academy is also now offering virtual learning for kids in grades K through 5, in addition to their secondary school offerings. Dr. Jesus Jara says that anyone can opt into the distance learning plan as long as homeschooling works for you. Right now, you know, they, they can go if their parents want to make a decision about, you know, moving into a distance education. Nevada Learning Academy is their choice and their option. Now, the Clark County School District is also researching new ways to teach our kids this year. 17 schools are being used as pilot programs where kids can learn in person in a hybrid style or through distance learning based on what works best for the student. Jara says that some of those schools are also experimenting with what they call project based learning, where educators use real world scenarios to teach kids skills and lessons. Right now, those schools enrollments are based on zoning, so if it's not open enrollment. So if you're not already involved in it, there's little chance that you could take advantage of it. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.